Pictures and hyperlinks can both enhance the aesthetic and functional aspects of your website. There are several ways you can add a picture. First, navigate to the page of your site where you want the picture to be located and select the pencil icon to edit the page. Then place your cursor where you'd like the picture to be inserted. Use the insert menu and choose image. Then use the upload images button to navigate to where the picture is saved on your computer. Alt text refers to text that will be read by screen reading programs for visually impaired individuals. You can add a description of the image here if you choose. When you're done, choose OK and your image will appear on the page. You have a few options for image size, including original, small, medium, or large. If none of those work, you would need to resize the image in an image editing program before inserting it on your website. If the image you want to use already lives on the web and not on your computer, you can add it in one of two ways. I want a Schoology logo right here to call attention to my message about our Schoology classroom. In another tab, I have already done a Google image search and located the icon that I wish to use. Make sure to click on the image you want to expand it beyond its search result thumbnail. Once you have enlarged it, right click on the image and select copy image URL. Head back over to your Google site, select insert image. This time choose the web address URL option and paste in the address you have copied. Then select OK. The third option to add a picture is the simple drag and drop method. Make sure you are in editing mode on the page of your site where you want the image to appear. Then head over to Google Images, left click and hold the left click button on the image you want and drag it over to the tab where your website is. Don't let go of the left click button until you have dragged the image onto the area of the page where you'd like it to be. Once there, release the button. Now I want to add hyperlinks to increase the usability of my site. There are two kinds of links I can add, links to other pages in my site or links to other pages on the internet. Let me first add a link to my calendar page in this text area. To do so, highlight the text you want hyperlinked and then select the chain link icon on the toolbar. This will bring up a list of your existing site pages. So you must have already created the page you want to link to or you will see an option to create a new page right here. Simply choose the appropriate page and choose the red OK button. Now I want to link this word to the Schoology login page. I need to open a new tab, navigate to the login page, and copy the URL address at the top of the page. Once I have the address of the destination page copied, I can go back to my Google site, highlight the text I want to hyperlink, and again choose that chain link icon on the toolbar. Instead of linking to an existing sites page, I will use the option to link to a web address. Paste in the address, and before I choose OK, I need to decide if I want a new tab or window to open when a user clicks the link. If you leave this box unchecked, the page that you have linked will open in the same window as your site or essentially push users out of your website. If you want your site to stay open and the URL to open in a new tab, click the box. When you're done, choose OK. Adding pictures enhances your website's appeal, creates white space, and calls attention to important details. And hyperlinks make navigation much easier for your users. Try adding some pictures and maybe some links to some commonly used websites onto your Google site.